Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Vanessa back at it again with another video. How are you guys and how is your Saturday morning going? Mine is going pretty good. Let me know in the comments down below. First things first, I'm going to be priming my eyes with a Tarte Tape Shape Concealer and I'm just going to be blending that out with my beauty sponge like so. Next, I'm going to be taking my Morphe 350 palette, and this palette is so perfect for the fall time. And I'm thinking about going with a berry look, so I'm just going to take this color right here, and you can take any blending fluffy brush like this. And I'm just going to start off with a transition color. This color is so pretty, you guys. And I'm going to be using similar colors like this, light colors and dark as well. Then I kind of want to go in with a darker pink color and I'm going to take my Morphe blending brush, but any blending brush will do. And I'm going to place this color under the color I put on first, if that makes sense. And then I'm just going to blend all of it out until it looks nice and blended. Next, I want to take an even more darker color, and I'm going to take more of a short blending brush, and this Morphe brush is perfect for that. So I can just pack it on my outer lid first, and then I'll blend it out. Sorry, I'm kind of watching the Dodger game, and I'm kind of doing a voiceover and like looking at the TV at the same time. But um, yeah, I'm just going to be packing on the color first and then I am blending it out with any blending brush will do. I forgot the name of this one, but I will link all the products that I use down below in the description. And now for my favorite part of this entire makeup look, I'm going to be taking my Stila eyeshadow glitter and this one is so pretty you guys it just went with the entire look this is more of a smoky color i should say i mean the color of the name of it is smoky storm and it's not gold but it's not dark either i just think it's so pretty and i didn't put this on my entire lid i kind of wanted to go for that halo eye look if you know what i'm talking about so I just placed it right in the center of my lid. Next, I'm going to be taking the first color that I placed on my lid and I'm just going to take a small blending brush like this and I'm just going to make sure that I have no harsh lines or a harsh edges. So I'm just going to blend that out so I have it nice and seamless. And then I decided to cut this part out, but I just cleaned up on my eyeshadow a little bit. And next, I'm going to be moving on to the face. And I'm going to take my Glam Glow Primer. This primer literally smells like bubblegum. It's so good. I can just smell it on my face for the rest of the day, and I'll be okay with it. Then I'm going to take my foundation this is the nars radiant foundation and i'm going to be using my beauty sponge i'm i just decided to cake on the makeup today 
we're gonna want no veins no blemishes so we're gonna i'm gonna cover all of that up and this is in the shade punjab i bought this foundation before i bought my Too faced born this way foundation and i know it, <laughs> this looks very light on me but no worries i'm going to work on it with some bronzer and we're gonna bake a little i'm gonna bake a little bit so if this foundation looks looks this foundation looks really light on me but i'm gonna be fixing it up <laughs> later on in the video no worries like you can really work with a foundation that's not your skin color if you really blend it out and blend bronzer and stuff you put on your face I, I feel like it would really work out at the end if you play with the makeup right you know what i mean and it's been sitting in my drawer i haven't used it at all so i was like why not just use it it's just sitting there collecting dust so i decided to use it for this video and this foundation was pretty much on the pricey end, so you gotta use it. I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And to be honest with you guys, this wasn't my favorite contour i usually don't contour i just slap on some bronzer and i'm good for the rest of the day but it was just sitting in my drawer i've used it on a couple people and it turned out great on them but it doesn't turn out good on me or maybe it's just the foundation that i'm using but if you guys look really closely it looks real cool cool tone on me and i don't know i try to make it work as best of i as i can and I kind of feel bad when I don't use the makeup that's been sitting in my drawer, especially when I spent lots of money on it. So I try to work my best with it to make it look right. I usually don't contour like I said, but for this video, I did anyways. You already know I'm going to be using my Concealer Tarte Tape Shape, and this is in the shade Light Medium. I'm just going to be placing this on the high points of my face, under my eyes, on my nose, chin, and forehead. Just to bring the high points of, our of my face in, because my face looks really flat with just foundation on, so I have to con contour really i cannot talk today so i really have to highlight the high points of my face just to bring my face in a little bit and taking my beauty sponge i'm just gonna blend all of that out so it can look nice and seamless I'm going to be taking my Hoola bronzer in the light shade. I feel like if I go in with a orange or a dark bronzer with light makeup, it's going to look really like chalky. So I just went with a lighter bronzer just to take it easy. I can apply a little bit and then work as I go. But this bronzer smells so good, you guys. It smells like Hawaii, like if you're sitting on a beach. I love it so much. Next, I'm going to be setting my entire face with the Maybelline Dream Powder, and I'm just going to take a fluffy brush like this and set my under eyes and my entire face just so my foundation won't move throughout the entire day.
I'm gonna be taking the first color that I placed on my lid and I'm just gonna be running that with a little pencil eyeliner like this. I don't know the name of this, but like I said, I'm going to be listing down all the products and brushes down below in the description just in case if you guys are wondering and get second shade right here and i'm also going to be placing that on top of the first shade that i placed down and i'm going to be taking this darker brown just so my eyes won't look like i have red eyes if you know what i mean so i'm just going to be running that on the lower part of my eye going to be taking a bigger fluffy brush and blending it out I, i'm not going to be taking it all the way in my inner corner i just stop where my eyelashes end i'm going to be coating my lashes with some mascara I decided to cut this part out, but I'm going to be taking this blush by Tarte, and this one is in the shade Party. I didn't go too heavy-handed on the blush this time because my eyes are already pink enough, so I just thought that our, my cheeks needed a little something. And just to set my entire face, I'm going to be taking my MAC Fix Plus, and I'm going to be setting my entire face. This one is so good. This one is in the coconut version. Next, I'm going to be taking my Champagne Pop highlighter. This one is so good. It matches with any look that you do. And I'm just going to be highlighting my cheekbones. And then I'm going to be taking my Smashbox palette and I'm just going to be using the top highlighter right here. And I'm going to be using the same pencil brush that I used earlier and I'm just going to be hiding, highlight, hiding really. I'm going to be highlighting my nose and my inner corner as well and the brow bone as well, why not? And last but not least, to talk, to, really, I cannot talk today, to top off the entire look, I'm going to be going in with this Tarte Lip Paint Liquid Lipstick. <laughs> I had to think about it for a minute. I'm also watching the game at the same time. But anyways, we're almost, I'm almost done. And this is the Tarte Lip Paint, and I believe it's in the shade Birthday Suit and this is it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you aren't subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe and like always i'll see you in my next video bye guys